So a little bit more about these proper notations. For example, if I had angle, let's change the color here. If I had angle A, B, C, and let's say it was 30 degrees, and I had angle X, Y, Z, also 30 degrees. Because they're both 30 degrees, then their measures are the same. But then they also have the same shape and size, so they are congruent. And the way we mark congruent angles is with this arc. So if they both have a single arc, they're congruent. If they both have a double arc, they're congruent. But if, say, we had another angle, angle J, K, L, which had a different arc, then that's not congruent to your double arcs. We'll use this notation a lot in this class, so if it's confusing right now, just kind of keep it in mind, practice it with all of our problems, and you'll get used to it. Right, this brings us to postulate three, the protractor postulate. This tells us that we can assign a numeric value, which is the angle measure, to represent the openness of an angle. So I have a nifty protractor on my screen. If I set the vertex at the center here, and let's say I drew one ray this side, and my other ray extended like that. Well then, I could look on my protractor, and because I begin here, I want to start zero here, and I use the bottom numbers. My other side hits it at 50, so this angle is 50 degrees. It's letting us give a numeric value to represent how open this angle is. I could draw another angle. We'll do this blue one. And we'll have it extend out to here. So starting at zero, I go along these bottom numbers, and I realize that this angle is 110 degrees. With protractors, you can actually set the side to be on the right or the left. So now let's start from the left, and let's say this one opens up right here. This angle, we start at the zero, so now we're using the numbers on the top. And I realize that this angle is 140 degrees. For example two, I want you to draw the following angles on the protractor that you have given above. An angle with a measure of 90 degrees, 130 degrees, and 20 degrees. Pause your video, try this, and then resume your video when you're ready to check your solution. So looking at this protractor, I want 90 degrees, 130 degrees, and 20 degrees. Let's start with 90 degrees. I notice my 90 is up here, so I set one side along the bottom of my protractor, my vertex at the middle, and the other side needs to go through the 90. And let's go ahead and name this angle. We'll name it, actually we'll put the center as A, the vertex as A. We'll name this BAC. So this is angle BAC. We'll write the measure, because we're talking about its number. So the measure of angle BAC is 90 degrees. Now we want one with 130. We'll use ray AB again but we'll make sure that our other side extends to 130. We'll label this point D. So the measure of angle BAD equals 130 degrees. And lastly, 20 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and use a different ray over here. We'll use ray AE, and then have this side extend through the 20. We'll label that F. So the measure of angle F AE equals 20 degrees.